Movie Madness Week at Dance Your Ass Off. I had such a great time. I was so excited about this. Um, you know, ever since I had the idea for the show, uh, the week that I was looking most forward to was the idea of taking a great dance movie or a movie that had dance in it and sort of celebrating that and honoring that style of dance. And man, I was not even prepared with what some of these people came up with. Um, first of all, backtrack. A lot of people really stepped up their game in terms of thinking about how they ate this week. Not just like, I got to diet, I got to starve myself, I got to suffer. Because um, we know that's not what the show is about and it's not what life should be about. It shouldn't be about suffering. It shouldn't be about, I hate what I'm doing and as soon as I get to where I think people will like me, I'm going to start shoving chocolate cake in my face again. Because it, it doesn't work. And we all get frustrated and we all feel deprived and then we shove the chocolate cake. So this week everybody went, you know what, I don't have to like keep myself from eating the stuff I like. They just did a big NIH study, it just came out this week. And all the stuff about carbs and Atkins and South Beach and the oatmeal only diet and the master cleanse and all that garbage. Only thing that matters, and I've been saying from the beginning, is more calories out than in. You want to lose a little weight? More calories out than in. Get up off the couch. Eat what you want to eat, or if you want a big plate of food, because that's what makes you feel good, is to be satisfied, you just have to make sure that it's the stuff that's good for you. Instead of spaghetti, spaghetti squash with your favorite sauce. That's all that matters. And the people started to really think of it that way this week. Enjoy themselves, enjoy their mealtime, enjoy their lives. I learned a great recipe from Mara this week, which was like sort of homemade sweet potato fries, not really fried, but just like sprayed. And then you flip them and you salt them and you can put a little hot cayenne pepper if you want. That looked good. I'm going to try that this week because that's what it's all about. It's like, oh, you know what? Oh, here's another trick. If you have a really busy life, like I know everybody does, being a working mom myself, cook on Sunday night. Get your whole week's worth of food prepared, put it in little Tupperware dealies, put it in the fridge, and have it ready to go in the evening, because then that way you're not going to be like, I don't have time to cook, I'm going to order pizza. You won't do that, because it'll be right there and healthy. So take maybe one day a week aside and, and focus on your healthy eating for the whole week. And then every once in a while you splurge, you enjoy your life, right? You just dance another hour. So balance in everything. We're very zen. Uh, back to Movie Madness. All right, I had a great time. I mean, some of the dances were just... Shayla, again, I just really was impressed by. She's very much establishing herself as being like, I'll take it all on. I'll take any challenge you give me, and I'll show a different side. And this is what I was looking to see from her, which was something a little different than what she's been showing us. Um, a little less, hi, I'm sexy, hi, I'm all about my hair. And of course, she has great hair, she has great boobs. But she showed us fun and hip hop, and it was, it was great. It was a great change for her. Um, I thought Patrice gave us really nice little smaller movements, much more contained, much more. She took all that power and she locked it down. <laughs> She leashed it, and that was a great thing to see. Um, Mara had a really big challenge with the tango because that's a tough dance. It's really tough to get those isolated movements. And even though what I want to see from Mara is a little more happiness about what she's doing, it doesn't really have a place in tango. Um, really interesting uh, connection with Spin Me Right Round to the tango, but it was a tango beat, so it was a good... Uh, it was good for her. I liked to see it. Um, and she had to be away from her partner. A lot of people don't know this. Tango originally was a dance in Argentina that sailors did with each other. Two men. And they were basically acting out street fights uh, and knife fights. And that's how it developed. And then it came to be a dance between sailors and prostitutes. So that's where all the violence comes from. It's like, yeah, I want to have sex with you, but I don't really want to pay what you're charging. That's the tango. So, um, and I thought it was a great idea for Elisa to do the jive. She was a little flaily on some of the moments, but you know what? She makes up for it because she has such happiness in, in how she attacks each dance. Um, Ruben, again, did an awesome job, um, but not up to the level, I thought, of where he was some of the other weeks. I had some disagreements with the judges, but, I, you know, it just wasn't as, as powerful for me. And Miles, oh, poor baby Miles. He, I've loved watching him. Week to week, I've loved watching Miles um, because he has so much fun. And that's what the show's about. You know, he, uh, he addressed the challenge of the workouts and the, and the nutrition and all of it with 
uh, very seriously. Um, and he had a great time when he danced. And he's just, he's gone at everything with such gusto. Again, like ripping off his pants. And I mean, the Brandy Chastain move he did at the end where he whipped his shirt off. I was like, you go, honey. Nobody's, you know, your boss. You are going to take the reins of your life just like you did on this show. And I know he's going to keep up what he's done on this show at home because he's really sort of honoring the memory of, of family members that have fought uh, weight problems and God, I know what that's like. When, once it's in your genetic pool, it's like, well, that's what you're dealt. But let's all agree that we're gonna live at our happy weight and um, not fight our own bodies and just do the best we can. And I was real proud of Miles. I'm, I'm sorry to see anybody go. It really, really is painful to watch anybody go. And I think that he was a bit hurt this week and I feel bad about that. I feel really bad. I hope he knows how much we love him, as we do all the contestants. And I hope you enjoyed Movie Magic Week as much as I did, because I thought it was great fun. Alicia, oh my God. That flash dance, I'm serious. I mean, she did every single beat of that movie, you know, crawling across the floor like the ice skater who was a stripper, but really in her heart she was an ice skater. and you know, whipping her head around, doing the crazy fast maniac running deal. I mean, you know, if she had like a big giant bulldog and a steel worker mask, she would have done the entire movie. It was awesome. She's crazy, but in a way that I like, like cuckoo pants. Fun. All right, see you next week. Bye.